this is Doom, my god! One of my favourite games, probably the best game of all time, in my opinion. This is the game which... Uh, it, uh, what, what did this game do? It, it, it changed my life. This was... This wasn't just a game, this was a fucking experience! Um, it was phenomenal! First time I saw it, my eyes burst out of their sockets and splattered onto the TV screen. I couldn't believe what was going on. You know, Wolfenstein had come before, and that was pretty immense. But, but you, no, no, look at it, you've got the head motion, the movement from side to side, texture mapping all around. It was... Oh, this is everything I had dreamt of in a game, and you can probably tell pretty excited. I'm going to play it on Hurt Me Plenty because I don't want to die too much. But look at this. I could play this level all day long, every day, for years. And this game came out in 1993, remember? December 1993. This, this was 23 years old. It's amazing, isn't it? Came out on PC, uh, developed by ID Software, obviously. And then it spread to a multitude of platforms during 1994, including uh, the uh, Jaguar, Atari Jaguar, and the 3DO, and even the Super Nintendo. I, I could never get my mind around that concept. There was the Jaguar on one end, which was a 64-bit console, and the SNES could run the same game. Obviously, you know, because of the lower quality TV broadcast resolution back then, I couldn't really work out that the SNES version was much different to the quality of the Jaguar version. So I, I couldn't really ever understand what was going on there. I assumed that the Jaguar programmers were just lazy. And oh, which in a way they were. The Jaguar could have been so much more. But this isn't about the Jaguar. This is about Doom. This wonderful game. And... You know, I probably spend. I, I dread to think how much time I spent playing this game, but it was, it was worthwhile. There was a Doom level editor. Do you remember that? And me and my mates used to edit the levels to buggery. Put like five thousand demons in this room, or pack them into the exit room. It was marvelous. Creative freedom. I wonder if I can remember how to get this thing to go. Oh, there we go go and get the shotgun. There's nothing like the Doom shotgun for satisfaction, is there? It is the most satisfying weapon ever conceived in any game, anywhere, and even, you know, when you get hold of the better weapons in this game, such as the... Look at that. Oh, I love it. Such as the minigun, which I will get hold of in a second. This is the best shotgun in any game by a country mile and a half. And this game just feels natural to play on the keyboard. It's probably because I spent so much time playing it on a keyboard, but oh, it just works beautifully. The, the cursor keys, shift to run, alt to strafe, control to fire. You cannot get better than that. Ah. Key card. Look at the texture on the walls. It was a perfect place. Look at the. It was just like the perfect environment. It was futuristic, but not too futuristic. You could go out. Look, you could go outside. That used to blow my mind. That landscape. You can see like hills and stuff in the background. That's amazing. You can open a door. You can go up lifts. Here's a lift. You have to wait, but yes, you can go up there. And you can go. Uh, is there a what is up is there? Is there something else up here? Is there another weapon up here? I can't remember. No, ammo. Oh, I yeah, but see, the minigun's great, but it's just not the same as. The shotgun has not the same oomph. There we go. There we go. Now, the reason I'm playing Doom, because normally I try and pick more niche games, but it's, it's obviously not niche unless you, well, unless you, unless you lived in the UK when it came out and hardly anyone had a PC unless you had billionaire parents. Because, the, yeah, the UK was knee-deep in 
Amigas and Atari STs back then because we'd been brought up on Sinclair Spectrums and we had TVs. We didn't have the money to splash out on a PC. So we had to make do with ripoffs. But, you know, when I got my PC finally in 95, my god, my god, what a day. What was my original point? I can't remember what my original point was. Who cares? Doom! Run! I'm going to be doing a video on Friday uh, which covers uh, Doom clones, but from a certain perspective, you might quite like it. Well, I hope you will. You might not. You might hate it. Chainsaw. Look at this. The amount of weapons you could get in this game as well. Chainsaw. And before this, I'd been playing. Yeah, you know, I, I don't think I even played Wolfenstein before Doom. You know, I think I pl played Wolfenstein after Doom, which is a bit of a weird way to do it. But I'd been used to Mega Drive games and Amiga games, and you could get games like this. You know, I've been playing games like Driller on the Spectrum, which was the Freescape engine, which was 3D. But this is all what it builds up to. Even today, this game stands up so well. It was so well designed. I would rather play this than most first-person shooters you can get today. Easily. You know, all this Call of Duty. I've never even bothered with Call of Duty or anything like that because it just can't compete with the atmosphere in this game. Even the sprites. Oh, I love it. I love Doom. I love shooting this bastard in the face. I love going down this lift and pressing space and going to the next level and finding secrets and everything about it. Which is why I'm doing a video about it and which is why I'll probably do many more videos along the same theme. On a slightly different twist. Not all at once because that would be crazy. But over the course of this year, I will be doing a few Doom videos. Yay, I hear you say. We love Doom. Bet your ass you do. Those alien bastards are going to pay for shooting up my ride. Might even do a bit of Duke Nukem. Shoot the barrel, shoot the barrel. Shoot the alien creatures. Shoot the alien creatures. Oh, wait a minute. Isn't there like a, a thing up here, isn't there? There we go. Like a little pen that you can shoot people from. Very inhumane indeed. Go down here. And activate that. Me and my mate used to take turns playing this when he, he got a PC before me. And like pretty much every night after school we would just go and play Doom. And that was our lives. What a life though. My god. You can probably tell this game still excites me today on some sort of hypnotic and grandular and crazy level. If I was playing this with a proper CRT screen and a true 486 processor, I would be in euphoric heaven. But this will do. This will do. I'm actually emulating this on DOSBox, I'm ashamed to say. But it doesn't really detract. It's one of those timeless games where nothing will detract from its beauty and pinnacleism. I played Doom 64 the other day. That's not a bad game. All based on the same premise. Ooh, press the button. Let's go back up. Shoot you in the face. Shoot you in the face. It's got a perfect amount of variation in this game. We've got a perfect amount of different enemies. Just having Doom Guy's face down the bottom is lovely. I love his little face. Well, I'm going to be dead soon, aren't I? Because I'm not really paying attention. Uh, 1%. Oh, it's all gone a bit dark. Ah, oh, well, I'm dead. Well, that's about the right time for a quick play anyway. Anyway, stay tuned on Friday for a lengthy feature length video about Doom and some of its clones viewed from a particular angle. I hope you'll enjoy it. See you then.